Yes, I think I've just about nailed the look and texture of how she used to make it. Oh, did you make a quiche velvet? Laffy said? Perfect timing. Would you give this a taste for me? Sure, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is incredible! It's so soft and flaky. It's really delicious. That's good. I don't know if it tastes the way Celica used to make it, but I'm glad to hear that it turned out okay. Now I have to go see the dogs. You mean Orthy and Russ? Yeah. There's something I need to take care of. Like what? Eleanor, are you feeling okay? Why do you ask? You always seem to enjoy eating, but today you look like you were struggling a little bit. Really? Well, I'm not sick or anything. I actually feel even better than normal. If you say so. Wait, do you just not like quiches? No, I like them just fine. Velvet makes some great ones, doesn't she? It's amazing when you consider she can't taste them. I've got it. You hate spinach, don't you? I suppose there's no point in denying it. And here I thought you people would eat anything. I know a lot of people don't like carrots or bell peppers, but spinach? That's a new one to me. You think so? It's quite bitter and it's got that smell. Kind of grassy or something medicinal, or... I didn't know you were so picky. Actually, now that I think about it, you had some trouble with the solitoma, too. It's actually because of the solitoma. I used to love spinach when I was little, but now it just reminds me of... Ugh, solitoma. I've had to take solitoma before, too, but it had the opposite effect on me. Now spinach tastes sweet by comparison. So much for the serious, mature woman. Looks like even you have some child left in you. But don't let it get to you. Being a fussy eater is just another way of life. You're in charge of your own plate. Ugh, I just don't like spinach. What's the big deal? Besides, I know you all hate it too. I'm talking about the spinach method. Supporting peers and achieving cohesive harmony. It's the foundation of any successful team, and you all completely fail at it. Okay, so first, what the hell are you dribbling about? And second, I'm not going to be lectured by some wee baby who won't eat her spinach. And you know what? I do what I want. I'm a free woman, and I don't need to live by your rules. Some of us just aren't cut out for team leadership. We'll leave that to you. You just let us each do our own thing. Am I right, Eisen? Don't be ridiculous. The spinach method is the first thing every pirate learns if they want to join Eifried's crew. Sometimes the younger sailors forget all the steps. I was just running a refresher lecture on it last night. Eleanor's on the money here. By the way, Eisen, I'm still waiting on your latest report. I haven't heard anything from you in a while now. Oh, I, I uh, I was gonna get to that, um, tomorrow. I've had it up to here! All right, you three, sit down and listen. Did you not hear me? Sit. Down. And. Listen! I don't need to live by your rules. Some of us just aren't cut out for it. I'll do it tomorrow. You might as well be toddlers. Our enemy is formidable and well-organized. Some might even say we'd be crazy to take them on. Surely even you three can recognize that any small lapses in cohesion could bring total disaster upon us. How did we get from spinach to a lecture on team building? I finally finished my culinary masterpiece! Eat your hearts out! Wow! I can tell you put a lot of care into this, Moggy Lou. Yeah, it's really refined. There's a lot of subtlety to it. Color me surprised. I figured the only thing you'd be good at concocting was poison. You know what they say. Jack of one trade, master of many. Once you're a witch of my caliber, cooking comes naturally. Are there really that many similarities between cooking and witchcraft? Oh, so very many. For instance, the first steps in preparing a broth are the same as for brewing cursing concoctions. Wow, I had no idea. Cursing concoctions? And the way you prepare the ingredients for a love potion can be readily applied to how you make simmered dishes. Really? Love potions? Think of the similarities like this. In both witchcraft and cooking, you have to think about who's going to consume your creations. It's very important. I think I understand.
understand what you mean. It's the way you put feeling into it. No, don't listen to her! From now on, you can't eat anything Mongilo cooks for you until you had someone else test it first. What? Why? What do you mean, test it? Just make Bienfu eat some and see how he reacts. That's a good idea. Let's go with that. Wha what? <laughs> Poor Luffy said, surrounded by women who wouldn't know a joke if it hit them upside the head. The trick to being a good cook is having a playful side. <sighs> huh. I never pegged you as a bad cook, Aizen. What happened? Mm. The Reaper's curse strikes again! Don't tell me that the curse even affects your own cooking. I'm afraid so. If I try to flip meat in a pan, it writes itself in the air and lands square back on the cook's side. Does that happen with everything you try to flip? What about pancakes? There's a certain beauty in the dichotomy of golden yellow and dark brown. And omelets, too? Eggs are pretty much a no-go. No eggs over easy. Ouch. I can't even make mini pizzas. Wait, but you don't have to flip anything to make those. If I'm not careful with how I carry them, they end up face down on the floor. Wow, I'm so sorry. What a stubborn little curse you carry around. Just use a spatula. No, I still have my pride. Mmm, now this is what I call a Salisbury steak. Juicy, aromatic, perfectly seared on both sides. It was a long, hard battle getting to this point. Maybe you should have taken Velvet's advice to use a spatula sooner. I'm not one to ever surrender before a battle. Anyway, I've come a long way relying only on my bare hands. But you did ask Kurogane to make you a spatula. That did happen, right? I don't do things by halves. That's my way. How does it taste? Hmm. Oh, it's great. You say that about everything you eat. That's not true. I have a very refined palate. Eleanor's cooking is... You know, how do I put it? Um, her dishes have gotten more flexible. Come again? It's commanding, but not so rigid, and yet still representative of who she is. I'm still not sure I follow. I used to cook by following every recipe as precisely as possible. But I've learned to fill out the dishes a bit more. I decide how much seasoning to use, and I make adjustments to taste. Sometimes what I make doesn't turn out right, but it's more fun this way. Wow. You really have changed, Eleanor. That's what I meant when I said her dishes were flexible. I was right. Rokuro, don't talk with your mouth full. You're getting food everywhere. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I couldn't help myself. You did it again. Look, it's all over your face. At your age, Rokuro. Uh, sorry again. There's something else I've been meaning to mention. Do you realize you hold your chopsticks incorrectly? Oh, you noticed. It's an original way I came up with myself, because I didn't want to imitate Shigure growing up. Pretty nifty, ain't it? No, it's not. It's horrible manners. Corrupted manners at the table leads to a corrupted soul. Hold your chopsticks properly. I'm a demon, so I think that ship has already sailed. Properly! All right, all right. Fine. I don't think my Ron gets his sword training was ever this strict. Huh. <laughs> Maybe Eleanor hasn't changed all that much. <sighs> the Ron gets his style applies equally well to the kitchen. Look at how perfectly chopped everything is. Yeah, and it's got a nice clean taste too, but with literally everything chopped to super tiny pieces, it all just ends up one texture. That's not true. Look at how I do vegetables. For stir-fry, I cut them super tiny, but for juices, I go extra super tiny. Wait, you chop things into juice? When you make sashimi, you slice the fish so thin it's nearly transparent. The pieces fall apart when I try to pick them up. That's not even the best part. I can turn a fish into sashimi so quickly its bones keep on swimming away. I think the fish might be a bit too fresh in that case. And your angel hair pasta is thinner than actual hair. There's no possible way to cook it al dente. Don't cut your dough so thinly. Thicker pasta gives it soul and makes it hearty. Sorry, but that's just how I do it. Any other way in, it wouldn't be Rangetsu cooking. Why do I even bother? 
It's like trying to reason with a brick wall. Well, cutting takoyaki into slices is a bit much. You might have me there. Okay, I'm sorry. I got carried away and wasn't thinking. Takoyaki has to be ball-shaped or it's not any good. Exactly! <laughs> See? We can get him to agree on some things. You say that like it's a good thing! So, how does it taste? I hope it's good. It's a nice, consistent flavor. You've come a long way, Luffy said. Phew! That's a relief. Thanks. Everything from the prep work to the measurements follows the recipe to perfection. It's very you. I bet you'd be great at making pastries. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying to make some. So long as you're alright with some simple things, I'd be happy to teach you. That would be great! I also want to try making my own ingredients from scratch. You don't have to go that far. You can just buy them from shops. Yeah, but still... Oh boy, I know how this story goes. First, it starts simple enough. You want to mix up something like curry powder. Then you'll be kneading noodles, growing sourdough starters, churning butter, and before you know it, you'll wind up fermenting miso and distilling spirits. Then comes the next phase. You'll grow your own rice and beans and raise your own animals. It's a road I've been down myself. You have? Yeah, out on this remote island. I even built a private salt pond, where I can cultivate natural salt just the way I like it. That's amazing! So how far does this path lead? It only ends when you've decided you've had enough. I won't lie to you, Lafayette. It's a hard road. But if you're really serious, I'll teach you the ropes. I'm super serious! Please, teach me everything! If that's what you want to do, I say go for it. Eating is a vital part of life. Might as well enjoy your food on as many levels as you can. <laughs>